Hello, Big Dog here. Slightly different video this time. It's going to be a war video. Um, I just wanted to talk about some of the things that have been niggling at me, bothering me about Clash. It kind of occurred to me that people moan and groan about the same things. Um, arrange wars, give us arrange wars. Ever, forever, people have been banging on about it. It's coming. They're going to do it eventually, right? Uh, you know, and for now, it's not that bad. We have a way of doing it. People match more than they miss. Um, but, you know, people moan about the same big things. Any new update that comes out, it's going to be the end of the world. Um, well, it's not the end of the world. Um, everyone's worried about uh, healing Earth, mining Earth. These are all post-update raids, DE raids with no uh, heroes are, are, are here, but primarily, my queen's come back, but primarily no heroes, um, post-update with miners, um, got about 100k plus DE yesterday. Um, so people panic before waiting to see what the reality is going to be. Um, but what I wanted to talk about today was not the big things that people are asking for, but what are the little things, the little tweaks that they could make to make this a better game. And I came up with seven the uh, seven things that have been annoying me. Um, and these aren't major things, but just things that uh, would be very easy to sort out. So, the first one is the Warden. You can see here my Warden is sleeping. Uh, I've used him in an attack and he's regenerating, right? Now, on... That could also happen on defense. I could have been attacked. Now, while he's asleep, I can't change him from ground to air, right? Why not? Why can't I change how he's going to wake up, right? I also can't change him from being on guard to asleep when he wakes up. Why not? Why do I have to wait? So where this is annoying is if you do an air attack, right, and you set your warden to air, uh, and then you want to switch back to ground, you have to wait however long it takes him to regenerate, let's say 45 minutes, and then remember, okay, there is a little icon that tells you his air will ground, but you need to remember to flick him back. Now, I've been caught out so many times by this. My army's ready, I go in. Uh, even in war attacks, when he's set the wrong way, if I could come in straight after an attack, just flick a button here, change him back to ground or back to air, um, surely that's a very easy... Uh, changed implement right okay so that's the first little niggle um, second one is you've got this menu screen now right um, which is great it's a big improvement can flick around to my barracks I don't need to search where my barracks are on the map really like it um, but super so you wanted to spend more gems why can't I boost my barracks directly from this screen and if they are boosted, why can't I click on it and see how long that boost is left for? I have to come out, find the barrack, click on it, tells me how long uh, they're left for. But this should be the, the management screen. I should be able to do everything with my to do with my army from this screen, including boost my barracks, right? Which I like to do. I like to spend gems, make it easier for me. Um, second thing is they gave us this uh, builder menu. This is good. Um, no longer... Do I have to do this, which I kind of still do with my base? Um, if it will let me, yeah. So I, when I'm doing upgrades, I kind of um, order my base like this. Everything on this side is maxed, um, and everything here is still to be maxed. And I, because I'm very anal, list them kind of in order of when they're going to be due and queue up what I want to upgrade next so I know how much I need to farm for in terms of gold, elixir, and DE. Um, so, um, I, I just, I've carried on doing that because I kind of liked it, but um, this screen uh, now helps because I can just flick down and I can see very quickly um, how long is left, but it doesn't show me my lab, why not? Why not? I want to know when my lab is uh, is going to be free. Um, uh, yeah, I know it says builders. Add the lab in here again. I, I, want, I want to see when I uh, need to plan for all of my uh, farm raids. So put that in the tab. Um, fourth thing, um, and this is really annoying. And again, blame Jake for this. You can blame Jake for a lot of things. He um, 
he tended to, to cry the loudest and hardest of anyone. And as much as he, 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 he and some of the big YouTubers complain, Supercell never listen to them and never get their way, I would say they almost always uh, get their way um, in that this, you know, the friendly challenge was changed. Um, and you can now have to wait a day um, before any changes to stop um, war bases being copied and essentially modded, which, okay, is a good change, I agree, but they went too far. Um, if I edit, so you can see, um, oh, I can't, I can't, um, if I do a challenge, so these bases are locked, right? This base is locked for 23 hours because I've made, uh, you know, one change. So, uh, and this one is locked for five hours. So if I, you know, as you all know, if I make one change, a single wall piece, I move it and move it back, um, move a builder's hut, that base is locked then for 12, for 24 hours or 12 hours, however long it is. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, small changes, you shouldn't need to wait. Um, 24 hours you should be able to make say I don't know five or ten changes small changes and immediately be able to post the base um, that's still going to prevent you from copying wall bases etc but it gives you the flexibility that if you try out an attack something doesn't work I need to move a mortar I can do that and not have to wait 24 hours to repost the base right so friendly challenges I think are a good thing all of the fair play wall clans cried their cried their hearts out about um, you know, it's going to be legitimized modding. And if you look at some of their videos, they're the guys that use it the most, right? They absolutely love it. Uh, we all love it. It's, it's, it's a great feature. It's, it's very useful. Um, maybe, maybe it, 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 it has um, helped decrease some of the prevalence of modding. I don't know. Um, but it's too restrictive as it is at the minute. Change it, change it. Um, the fifth thing is chat. Chat needs an overhaul, right? Global, I don't think I've been in here forever, and it's full of crap. Look, I mean, who uses Global other than Wharf, who, who, who lives by it? Um, let's have another tab, right? Let's have a friendly challenge tab. Let's have a donations tab, right? This chat window is far too busy now. Um, ours isn't, is because we're quite uh, laid back. Our, our chat doesn't move 100 miles an hour, which is good. Um, I like it that way. Donations don't come on and immediately get uh, knocked off. But in more active um, chat windows, um, you can put donation on and immediately it's gone with you know friendly challenges, people talking talking crap or you know, talking about attacks, etc. Let's have a friendly challenge window, let's have a donations window. Uh, chat needs an overhaul. This this window to me is defunct, useless, get rid of it, I don't want it, um, or, or, or put it away somewhere. Let's have a donations tab, let's have a friendly challenges tab. Um, uh, another thing, you know, uh, I guess this is a big thing. I could kind of just think of this one on the fly. It's been mentioned before, but you know, um, just overhauling donations and how they're done. Um, you know, war donations should count towards your um, your donations uh, uh, achievement. Why don't they? You know, we've got people TC that fill the war clans every single war. And they get no credit for that in terms of achievement or XP, as far as I'm aware. Um, also, why can't you donate to a war pool? You know, I think Jake actually probably had this idea and put it out there that you know, you could just there's a, there's a separate chat which is war donations where you know someone could donate five golems, and when you need something for war, you can just go in and pull that out and use it for war. Um, not have to wait or be online you know if you're in a global clan I'm online a lot of time in, in the mornings in the UK which is evenings for the US there's not always someone around to donate um, and vice versa um, you know make, make, make the donation side of it easier um, uh, what else second the, the, the other thing obviously I'm trying to upgrade my heroes to max now and I have my heroes uh, permanently set to sleep or guard um, I don't want my heroes on defense and the reason I don't want my heroes on defense is I don't really care about trophies um, I, you know I'm not pushing um, and I don't want to have my army built 
um, get hit for a defense, they kill all three of my heroes, and my army and spells are ready to go, and I've now got to wait an hour or whatever it is for my heroes to uh, to regenerate. So I always have my heroes on sleep when they're awake. They're all asleep now anyway. Um, but what happens is if I upgrade my queen to 37, as I'm going to soon, um, once she's if she's on sleep now, once she's done upgrading, she will be awake um, automatically, even though I've got her set to, to sleep. So if it's set to sleep when I upgrade her, when she's finished, keep her asleep. I don't want to have to come in and manually do it. Again, it's annoying. Um, I've set it that way for a reason. Um, there's no need to change it, Supercell. Um, okay, I'm going to switch now to another video if this works because I've had to record this manually to show you what I mean by this. But this is probably my number one gripe and the one thing that has annoyed me. Not as much now because I don't barge, but I used to barge a lot as a lower town hall. Uh, when I'm running short on Elixir as a town hall 11, I still do barge. Uh, and this is really, really annoying. So I'm going to swap to the other video uh, that I've taken. Hopefully that works. Um, and there are my seven or eight, however many things it was, little things that annoy me, sort them out Supercell. Thank you for watching. So this one has annoyed me forever. Um, we'll just raid any base here. Really, it's a problem with Barch. So for example, this. See this? If you, I mean this base isn't a great example, but if you have uh, buildings that jut out and you try and deploy within the red lines this spammy message that covers the entire screen where I'm now trying to deploy troops and can't see where I can or can't deploy troops surely there's a better place to put that message put it in the middle somewhere where it's not actually inhibiting uh, my visibility where I'm trying to deploy troops change it supercell